Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me on one of my YouTube uh, videos how to engrave a world map. So I started looking around for world maps and I found a really cool one. I'm going to post it on Epilogue's Laser fan page on Facebook. And I'm going to post it on mine, which is Corel Draw File Share. I'm going to post this exact file. So you've got some that are got uh, white between the uh, countries. This one is like gray with black outline. Uh, this one is all black. And then this one is the show where you could actually make different countries a little bit different shades of gray. I found this this morning on... Right here, vectorworldmap.com. They actually have it saved in a CDR file, which is a Corel Draw file. It's pretty cool. This is the way it. Let me see if I can find that one. This is the way it comes. It's already a vector file. Uh, it's already CD or Corel ready. You can take away the oceans. And it actually, it even says that it's this map can be freely used for any purpose and I thought I'd kind of show you a couple of tricks how I manipulated it and you could do a lot with this I mean the countries actually have their names on them in black you know it's even got Hawaii out here so what you could do you would have to get rid of the not really get rid of the black but let's just do a little exercise here. We're at only uh, four and a half inches. So we're going to set our nudge factor to six. I'm going to go to edit, find and replace, find object, begin new search, find fields, uniform fields. Next, I'm going to get this out of the way. And I'm going to go specific color, which is, it is black, but I'm going to hover over that name of probably Greenland, get the black, hit next, next, finish, find all, X out of that program, and now all the blacks are grouped together. Let's nudge them up. And you can see that it now just has, has the wordage. And then you could take your map and make it all a grayscale. You could give it a, let me um, click back on it, give it a black outline. This is a hairline. You'd have to make it a little bit thicker. You can actually, like in this, it says I have a point. You could actually type in 2.5, make it not quite as thick. Then, because these are all semi-grouped together, you can move them back down. And then you could actually engrave the countries with the engraving. So I've saved this in X3 for more people to use. And what I was going to kind of show, if you were going to just do the map, you could give it a, a white outline so they'd be a little more distinct. You could make different countries different shades of gray, you know, just so they kind of stand out a little bit. You know, leave some of them black. And uh, there's a lot you could do with this. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.